What is a stereotype? A stereotype is a set of overly simplified representations, ideas or associations, usually about people or places. Stereotypes may not always be created by the media, but they can be, and stereotypes are certainly spread by and reinforced by the media. This is because shorthand ways of representing someone are very convenient in making media, because you can give your viewer, reader or listener a lot of information in a short period. The creative language tends to reinforce particular representational codes. Patterns of representation form, where you tend to see people of certain nationalities working in particular professions, associations of levels of intelligence with certain hair colours or genders, and many other examples that help accrue abstract, oversimplified and often completely false characteristics about people, places and concepts. Remember back to the idea that media have embedded values and there is a connection between media and power? Stereotyping is often used to characterise a group of people as being all the same and different from the dominant group, often in a negative way. An example of media stereotyping can be seen in portrayals of people of Arab descent. In his book and the documentary made out of it, Real Bad Arabs, Jack Shaheen documented multiple different ways Hollywood stereotyped Arabic people, as terrorists for example, without offering alternative images. Today we still see these kinds of representations in the news media. Think about images you have seen of Arabic people in the media. Have you seen many? When a limited number of representations exist, the kind of representation becomes more important. This is explored by comedian Harry Kondabulu in his documentary The Problem with Apu about the character Apu in The Simpsons, a stereotype of Indian people in America in a context where very few Indian characters or individuals appear on American TV. For groups with more representation, it is likely that there will be a wide diversity of character types and codes of representation. There is unlikely to be an identifiable set of characteristics that mark the characters. It is not implied that they are all the same or all share the same traits or professions. This is one of the reasons why media representation is important. And the kind of representation is particularly important when there are only a limited number of representations. Can you think of some other examples of media stereotypes?